Hello, my name is Emily Bassett and I'm a clinical marketing specialist with Elector. Today I'm going to talk to you about Symmetry, which is Elector's 4D volumetric image guidance solution. Currently in radiation therapy, there is an increasing trend towards SBRT or Sabre techniques for the treatment of lung tumours. In the context of dose escalation, it is essential to verify the daily anatomy and dose placement. But how do we do this when complex respiratory motion is present, especially in time pressure clinical situations? The Electa 4D guidance solution helps manage issues relating to target motion and inspires clinical confidence to pursue advanced delivery techniques. It enables 4D imaging of a moving target and surrounding anatomy without the use of any surrogates. In addition, an efficient and automated registration workflow provides a time-weighted average position of the tumour. This position is where the tumour spends the most amount of time in the respiratory cycle. This solution ensures tumour motion and baseline shifts are accounted for, maintaining the original plan objectives. So let me show you how it works. First we can look at the plan. This patient was planned using a 4D reference scan and it was decided to plan using an ITV strategy. The 4D scan was utilised to define the ITV volume, but planning is performed in 3D using the average position. Monaco helps to ensure end-to-end -end accuracy for these patients due to the gold standard Monte Carlo dose calculations. These ensure delivered doses precisely match prescribed doses, regardless of variations in surrounding tissue density. This patient has been planned with VMAT, Many of our customers also use DCAT, which offers more efficient delivery. You can find out more about this from our tips and tricks videos on the Monaco website. After planning, no additional steps are required. The CT instructions are transferred to XVI for reference data preparation. So how do we verify the tumour is still located centrally in the high dose region during treatment? And has there been a baseline shift? Multiple registration options are available for the clinical user to choose. A clip box registration, a rectangular area of interest and a shaped region of interest or mask registration which can be defined as a structure from the treatment planning system. A combination of both of these registrations is known as dual registration. The reference data for this patient has already been prepared to use dual registration. Region of interest 1 is defined by the clip box which is focusing on the bony anatomy position. Note that this includes the spinal cord. And the shaped region of interest 2, or the mask, is focused on the tumour. For a symmetry scan, you can choose mid-position or exhale for the match, for the final registration results and the consequent table movement. This depends on how the patient was planned. A mid-position was used to plan the patient, so we would choose time-weighted average here. The correction reference point has been defined at the centre of the tumour. You can see the structures from the TPS. All structures or contours are turned on as a default and the user can turn off any that are not required. We have chosen to visualise the ITV here in addition to some other structures. So let's look at the acquisition workflow for this patient. Elector imaging solutions are supplied with a number of different presets, which we have developed in close partnership with our clinical consortium members. These are constantly reviewed for efficiency and dose sparing opportunities. The symmetry preset is optimised to be as low dose as possible while still maintaining the image quality needed for accurate 4D registration. On the surface, the workflow is very similar to a standard 3D, but let's see what's happening with the reconstruction. As the gantry rotates, the 2D projection images are being sorted into different respiratory phases according to the diaphragm or an alternative anatomical structure position. This functionality is unique to Electa and provides true anatomically correlated imaging, removing the need for any surrogates. For efficiency, the reconstruction occurs simultaneously which means the images are available to you as soon as image acquisition finishes. This brings us to the registration workflow. As you can see, we now have a reconstructed 4D cone beam CT, giving good visibility of the target and its motion. You can see here the 10 different respiratory phases. You can configure the number of phases that is appropriate to your department at the preset level. There are also controls to navigate through the different phases of the 4D cone beam CT for detailed analysis. Here, first we register the vertebral bodies using the clip box with a bone matching algorithm. We're using translation and rotation. This will correct for any positioning inaccuracies, but it won't tell us if there's been a baseline shift in the lung tumour. So next we register the tumour. You'll see as I click register how fast the software registers all 10 phases. These are being registered against the 3D static reference image. 
As the human eye is very sensitive to motion, the motion is inverted for the review process. This means the target becomes static and the surrounding anatomy moves. If a single phase was incorrectly registered, you would be able to detect, adjust and correct this very quickly if required. So we can see here this match is good and we are ready to convert to correction and the table can be automatically moved to the correct position and the patient can be treated immediately. It is possible to re-image if required by clinical protocol and it is also possible to acquire an interfraction 4D symmetry. So you can see how fast the symmetry workflow is. If you have any questions regarding Electa's 4D image guidance solution, please contact your local Electa sales representative for more information.